Hello YouTube. Welcome to the third tutorial on programming tips and tricks using C. So in this tutorial we will be discussing with input and output mistakes and we will look into the, some of the examples and the common mistakes that we do. So in the first example here we have declared three variable of type int so sum a and value and here is a for loop running from 1 to 10 and then we are summing up all the number from 1 to 10 into the sum variable and then we are printing the sum you might be expecting that the sum that the output of this code will be 55 which is the sum of the number from 1 to 10 but you will get some garbage value if you are using turbo c++ compiler garbage value if you are using turbo c++ compiler and if you are using visual studio then you will get a runtime error a runtime exception you get okay so let's check this <coughs> so if i run here as you can see in this line it's giving an runtime exception the variable sum is being used without being initialized okay so as visual studio i am using visual studio 2013 it's an advanced compiler so it has already detected that the sum is not being initialized so some of the compilers like turbo cc++ compiler won't detect these things and they will take the garbage value of sum and then that will that will be added to the variable a each time the for loop runs and therefore you will get some value maybe 4 5 something like this garbage value so be sure to initialize this sum with 0 in order to get the exact sum so the output of this program will be 55 so again if you will run you will say there is a runtime exception saying that the val is being used without initialize so here also the same thing we haven't initialized the val variable so let's initialize it with 1 and then we'll run this is the code to find out the factorial of a number so when we run this now see some of the number of 1 to 10 is 55 and then the factorial is 120 from 1 to 5 5 factorial now we'll go into the next thing <coughs> before that excuse me we can instead of declaring it here sum and val we can do one thing we can declare it we can declare it here int sum comma val now you might be thinking that now once again the sum will be some garbage value or a runtime exception but notice that now the sum and val is a global variable so all global variables all global variables are initialized with zero so all global variables are initialized with zero therefore here the sum variable is already get initialized with zero and value is also get initialized with zero therefore the output of this will remain 55 whereas before we got the output 120 for this but now the value will output of this code will be 0 because the value is now 0 since it's it is global global so if we run this code so you can see 55 and then 0 factorial is 0 therefore is if you want to get the proper output then you have to initialize with 1 so now if you run once again we will get 55 and 120 so you have two options either initialize the variable locally with 0 or make it global and if you want the variable to be set to 0 then no need to initialize it as the global variables are by default initialized with 0 and here the value if we will put if it is initialized with 0 then this will become 0 therefore I am giving it as 1 now next next code is here I have declared two variable int a1 equals 10 and b equals 3 and then a 
variable called result of type float next what we are doing is let's suppose before type casting let's say uh, when we divide a1 by b so what we are doing here is 10 divide by we are doing 10 divide by 3 so the output should be 3.333 like that but what happens here since a1 is of type integer and b is of type integer so the integer by integers what will happen will become integer therefore it will remain as 3 now you might be thinking but the result is float so why can't it will be 3 it should be 3 point but when when integer by integer division takes place the round off will occur and 3 will and 3.33 will be rounded to 3 and then it will be 3 will get stored in 3 will get stored in result therefore the new value will become 3.0 so when we will run this when we run this as you can say we will get 3.000 <sighs> now you might be thinking like let's typecast this typecast it into float so what happens same thing will again happen again because 10 divided by 3 once again you will get 3.333 and then what you are then this will be rounded off to 3 because it is a division and then you are typecasting it to float so float of 3 becomes 3.000 so once again the output will remain same we can see that once again the output is still 3 so in order to remove that to make it we will typecast one of them so what it's we are typecasting here a1 from integer to float so what happens now now the division will happen like this 10.0 divide by 3 so what happens now it's a1 is forcing that 10 is a floating point variable and 3 is an integer so a1 is forcing it to uh, to divide it in floating numbers because so now the output will be 3.333 and then it will get stored into the result so what what we have done here is we have typecasted a1 as float and we are forcing the division operation to be performed on floating numbers okay so let's run this so as you can see 3.333 so we have to make this variable as a float in order to convert it into float not the entire result that will be treated as integer only and then it will be converted into float next sometimes you might be do one thing here instead of percent %f you will give percent %d so what happens the result will become some garbage value or zero so you have to take care of that whenever you are dealing with that so let's give percent %f and then back to 3.33 next in this example as you can see character 1 character 2 two characters are there of type character and then we are reading two character from the console window from the user so here percent c percent c and it will be stored in percent ch1 and then percent ch2 so and then we are printing it so let's run this as you can see I have entered a space B enter so character 1 is a and character 2 is space okay you can see that character 1 is a and character 2 is a space why because person C and then the next person C so what happened when the scanner will go to the standard input file if you have watched my previous video tutorial then you might be knowing that what I am talking about standard input file so the standard input file will have uh, the scanner will look into the standard input file and will scan the person C first person C so first person C will be A and without anything without any space without any delimiter it will scan for the next character that is B sorry uh, space therefore the CH2 will be a space and the standard input file has still B okay so in order to take care of that you either give space here you give space so that now what happens if you run now so what happens you give a space b and then 
character 1 is A and character 2 is B. So what happens here is the scan of function will look into the standard input file and look for A and then it will look for A space. So A space will be there here. We have specified A space and then pass and C then it will look for the B. Okay and then it will read. So now let's see. So this is one way to do that. If you want to give no I don't want to give space I want to give this slash so let's see when you run that so you have to give a slash and then B once again a and B so it the in between space act as a delimiter and if you want no I don't want to give any anything in between so that that also you can do you don't want to do that give anything in it's okay so what you have to do is you just give a and then B without any space so it, it look like that one character it's not one character you are reading character but but it's confusing therefore you'll get A and B but in order to properly format it you should specify a space or any delimiter or comma suppose if I'll give comma so what happens next I have to specify A comma and then B so you'll get CH1 H A and CH2 H B okay so this is what so suppose and let's change this one more thing I want to show you next go to the next example then I'll talk about that so here I have declared an array of character and then enter the string here this is one of the statement you can read a string by this statement so what happens here is percent we used to uh, read a string through percentage so what happened here is it's looking for all the character okay so suppose you will start typing like hello world so it, it will take all the characters whatever you enter until you enter a okay so it will read the entire line until you enter a so if you want to enter a string okay if you want to enter a string end with slash n so what you will do percent then cap and then slash n so this this thing what it will do it will read a, a line of a string ended with a enter, enter or slash n or new line so same thing is here here what we are trying to do is we are trying to read the string ending with a so let's do this <coughs> so as you can see so let's say a space b from the previous example ch1 is a and ch2 is a space in the standard input file still b is there because ch1 has taken a ch2 has taken space but b is still there in the standard input. so look what happens in the next next thing this is over now it's asking for enter the string we are reading it through this tricky thing cap and then a so let's say i am going to enter hello world so look what happened one minute it's hanging out let me check once again let's run this let's say a space b enter and then let's give hello sorry about that somewhere I have made mistake let me check person okay then cap symbol and then you have to give a and then oh sorry 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 so you have you have to give a space b okay then give c double hello, hello and then you have to give a to terminate it that's what I forgot because here I thought of slash n but here it is a so you have to terminate it with a okay so let's check one more time so you give a space b so ch1 has a and the ch2 has blank space in the standard input file still b is there so now what happens if I'll type hello and then I'll type a so look string is b b this b is coming here and then hello 
so what happened here is the standard input file has b and then we wrote hello since a is not taken here therefore a is not appended here so only b and hello therefore if some sometimes this will happen so i have already told you in the previous tutorial use f plus function in order to avoid these kind of situations okay so look when i will press a b okay b is still there in the std in file now i will enter hello and end with a so see string is hello now it's perfectly fine so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching guys bye bye